afternoon baseball at Chase Field on a fine Sunday in the desert southwest. Today it's the rubber match of this three game series between the San Francisco Giants and the Arizona Diamondbacks. It's baseball on MLB Network and it's coming up next. Madison Bumgarner gets the start for Arizona in this one. What's your take on him Dan. Hey Matt we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately in his last three starts he has a whip of over one point five zero lots of base runners lots of hits and lots of walks and that doesn't add up to very good performances so he's going to look to turn things around in this Leading one here today and now San here Francisco. is Sean Campaneris and we are ready for some daytime baseball first pitch on its way underway now in the Sunday finale as the game's first pitch is taken for bowl one well guys these Diamondbacks as they begin play they dropped another one last time out and in fact they've won just twice in their last eight tries yeah Matty this is the big one right here they split the first two games of this series you want to steal one right here and be feeling good about yourself yeah Dero I think one of the things you want to do you get to the third game you'd like to win this series and finish it off by winning game three it's always nice to win a series whether it's at home or on the road so this is a big one for this ball club. Now the one and one pitch. It's hot but not too hot this afternoon and even 90 degrees here at first pitch. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Way to battle right there. Hey guys, that wasn't a bad pitch. And executed off the plate. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offensive player right there. Stayed inside the baseball and was able to get a knock. And here now is Wilmer Defoe. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. The set and the 1 0 pitch. There's a fastball on the inner third taken for a strike. And there are our umpires for this one. Working the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight one of the best in the business in my opinion but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah D Rod, one of the things he'll do he'll open up that outside corner especially with left handed batters. Ready on one and two. Campaneras aboard here at first with nobody out. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Working for the punch out and the offering. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Here now is Trey Turner as he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Bumgarner ready with the 0 1. Runners on first with one down. Two and one to count to Trey Turner. This is flared out towards second. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. 
Nothing for the Giants in their first try. D-backs coming up on MLB Network. Noah Syndergaard is on the mound for the Giants in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? One of the things that jumps out, if you look at that stat sheet, a very high whip coming into this start. One of the things he's going to have to do a much better job, keep traffic off the bases, keep the walks down, try to limit the amount of hits. He's had a rough goal that so far this year. Let's see if he can turn it around in this one. Ready now is Tim LaCastro. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. As he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball 1-0. Danny Dero, this Giants team as they begin play here this afternoon, four and two over their last six games, including a win last time out. Hey, thanks, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? Try to get on a kind of a little mini winning streak here, losing the first game of this series, winning game two, and hopefully nope. winning this series by pulling one out here today. Yeah, Dan, they were able to shower that first loss off in the first game of this series and had a nice bounce back game yesterday. Let's see if they can steal a series right here. Ready with the 2-0 pitch. 3 and 0 now. Well, he was definitely looking fastball here, and he got one. But that was good discipline to lay off and get himself into a 3-0 count. And he takes ball four. So the leadoff man is on here in the home half of the first in a scoreless ball game. Three of those pitches were definitely out of the zone, but that last pitch looked pretty darn good to me. You're not usually going to get many favorable calls on 3-0, and though. You have to earn that spot. Whit Merrifield next to hit. Pitch is high. The throw way late, and he's in there easily at second. A runner at second, nobody out. Two and zero now. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and zero. And he lays off there, ball four. So back-to-back -back walks have him in business here with nobody out. Some guys take a little time to find the zone, but with the second walk of the first inning, it might be a little more than just settling in here. Not sure how long of a leash they'll give him, but they're not going to let him walk the world out there. Up next for Arizona, Cattell Marte. He did his part yesterday afternoon as he cashed in with three hits in the losing effort. First offering... Don't expect too many more high fastballs in this one. He is known for his sinker, keeping the ball on the ground. Now both runners on the move. Strike taken, the throw. Not in time. He's safe at third as they pull off the double steal. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Couple of men in scoring position here with none down. Swing and a liner. And this ball's going to get down, and it should play to couple. One run is in. Throw comes to second, but he is in there with a two run double. You simply cannot offer up a pitch cool. like this to a hitter of this guy's good. magnitude, Back. especially with runners on Jump the bags. Man. He makes a living off frozen ropes to the outfield like this, and that one drives in a pair. So that brings up the always intense Matt Chapman. Strike one to start the at bat. Chopped in front of home plate. And that's out number one. 
batting fifth. The right fielder. Seth Beer. And now in the box, Seth Beer. And now the Diamondbacks look to push more across in the opening frame. From the stretch, here's the pitch. As he'll pop this one foul off to the left and out of play. Syndergaard has both great strikeout stuff and exceptional command on the mound to go with it. A rare combination, but one that makes him one of the best in our sport. Matty V, you talked about it. He doesn't walk a whole lot of guys. Well, if you don't walk a lot of guys, that means you have to throw the ball in the strike zone. And when you do with great stuff like this guy has, he racks up the strikeouts. There aren't a lot of guys that get strikeouts by throwing the ball in the strike zone. This is one of the few that does it. In the dirt, but swung on and missed. He makes the throw to first, two down. Good that pitch there, and that was a nice job Don't by his battery him. mate to complete Andrew. the plate first after the ball that hit the dirt. Me. And that'll bring up the left handed hitting Andrew Benintendi as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. The average not quite where he wants it down in the 220s. Two home runs and five driven in. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Marte at third with two away. Down low, two balls and a strike. The 2 1 home. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. I think a few of these folks need to get out of the sun. More to come on MLB Network Sunday Baseball after this. Second inning set to go and digging in is the outfielder Jalen Davis. You know these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace even though it's early. Here's the first pitch to him. As he will take strike one on the fastball here no balls and a strike. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And he'll put this one away for the first out of the inning. That is it. The right fielder, number 13, Austin Slater. So one down, no one aboard. And into hit next, it'll be Austin Slater. First pitch coming, here it is. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Yeah, he has turned himself into a really nice ball player. I wouldn't put him on the superstar level, but you know what? They didn't miss with this pick either. You go into high rounds and you carve out a career the way this guy has, nice pick. And he misses again, 2-0. Good pitch there. Had him a little out in front. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. Bases are empty. One man out. And it's a full count. Three and two to Austin Slater. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. That is it. Into the box, Franklin Labor. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. First offering. 
he'll take that first pitch strike all day long. If they're going to take 0 0, he's going to pound that zone and get ahead. Much more susceptible down 0 1 than 1 0. And 1 and 1 as this one's in on the hands. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Here it comes on 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes now. There's a ball low. He misses with the changeup. Bases are empty here with two men out. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Oni pops it up. In there, a base hit. The throw into second. But he'll be in there with a double. Wow, he must be living right because he gets absolutely jammed. Thought we were going to see the bat splintered, but instead he muscles the ball to right for a double. Might get some heckles from his teammates, but no doubt he'll take it. Chadwick Trump the next to bat as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one day off for him yesterday but back out there for this one hit back up the middle Merrifield picks it up and nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Two out double left stranded. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. So here is Christian Walker. And in case you haven't been keeping up the tabs on him, arguably he's been one of the hottest hitters in the league over the last seven or so games. First delivery to him. A and a ball, 1 0. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Hey, you want to talk about being in a zone? This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher to just go ahead and challenge him. Well out in front of the breaking ball there for a strike. All even now two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. Smoked on the ground left side and a base hit so early trouble to lead off the inning. Batting it. The catcher. Victor. Next to bat will be Victor Caratini. And he's a guy really in need of something to click at the plate right now. It's been a rough go for him. And now the first pitch. Clips the corner of the zone with the sinker for a strike. Fielded cleanly to second for one. On to the pitcher covering in time. It's a double play. That's good athleticism here by the pitcher getting off the mound. He gets the ball to first and then hustles his way over to the bag to help him wrap up the tough 3 6 1 double play. At the plate, Madison Bumgarner. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0 and 1. Oh. 
on the ground to the left side. Throw in time and the side is retired. Nothing doing for Arizona. After two, it's a two nothing ball game. Now to bat, Jake Shiner, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. First pitch on the way. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Outside, 2 and 1. The count now at 2 and 2. Now here it comes. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Those jump throws are always some of the most exciting plays you'll see. So here it is again with Show Track. Shows off some great range, and it's still somehow able to get a lot behind the throw as his momentum was taking him the other way. Not everybody can make that play. In now, Noah Sindergaard. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Swing and a miss, 1 and 1. He's going to have to set his sights a little lower right there. That pitch was able to get by him. His swing was just a little under that one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Still two and two. Pitch on the way. That's popped up. Chapman into foul territory. And he lays out, but he can't make the play. We'll do it again. Struck him out. He's looked great on the bump the first few innings of this game and I think his ability to change speeds effectively has been a big reason why that was a good change of speed for the strikeout there and I've seen a lot of hitters look pretty off with their timing so far. Into the box now Sean Campaneras as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one he singled to open up the ball game. Check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Now, this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Well, when you're behind 0 2 as a hitter, you're in swing mode. Nothing changes that like seeing something hard bearing in on you, though. swing there as they tie him up inside for the third strike and the inning is over. Giants down in order. They trail it here two to nothing. So stepping in is Tim LaCastro. He's got over his first six at bats in the series so far. Now the pitch. Thank you. 
Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. The 1-1. One, one. Whoo, that was some gas. Triple digits on the radar gun. Here comes the one two. Is taken for ball two. Swing and a ball hit on the ground. The two two. Is laid off and the count runs full. Whit Merrifield waits on deck. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first out of the inning. Big curveball for the strikeout there, and that came that after an it. absolute missile Wins. of a fastball. Even if you recognize the breaking ball out of the pitcher's hand, it's so hard for hitters to sit back long enough after they've seen a really good fastball. Only the best can keep their hands back on those. With Merrifield next to bat. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. One out, nobody on. Popped him up. Trump has a play. Two down. Next to dig in, Patel Marte. He doubled his last time up. Yeah, he did a great job to go down and get that one his last at bat. But I got to think they're going to pitch him up, maybe elevate something in the zone. Interested to see how he approaches this next AB. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Ah, and he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him, 0 and 2. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. And he looks at a ball, 1 and 2. Lifted the other way out to left center. Davis will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Diamondbacks down in order, but they're on top two to nothing. All set for the start of the fourth, and that'll give way to the veteran second baseman, Wilmer Defoe. Now the first pitch down the first baseline. He's got it and he'll step on first himself for the out. Next it'll be Trey Turner. First pitch coming here it is. Slow bouncer to the right side. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Count is one and two now. And he fouls this one off. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. On to first, and Bumgarner's rolled and right through him here. Two away now. So two away for the Giants here in the fourth, and that'll bring in Jalen Davis. Here's the first pitch. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. In there, and he's ahead 0-2 now. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger. Uh, we'll leave it right there as he strikes out, and that ends the inning. 
Giants are down one two three. They're still down. It's two nothing. Bottom of the inning now and up Leading next the power the hitting third baseman Matt Chapman. Third baseman Matt Chapman. First pitch on the way. Nope. Chapman has all the necessary skills to play great defense on the left side of the infield and it makes him really fun to watch. He can pick it with the best of them but what sets him apart is the huge arm. It's accurate. It's incredibly strong. Certainly has the ability to uncork a throw and beat a runner when he needs to and it's impressive to watch. Yeah anybody that has the ability to go to their backhand and to absolutely fire a cannon across the infield is a huge asset to have. And he'll lay the fastball in here to get the count back to two and one. And this one's going to bounce up to the plate and easy take there and it's three and one now. Seth Beer is on deck. Hit the other way out toward right field. Slater is there, one away. Now that now right into field. the box, Seth Beer struck out in his last Beer. trip to the plate. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Hey you think back to the early innings right there you thought this guy would have been hitting the showers a credit to him he's been able to regroup find his mechanics and find a way to stay in this game two runs on two hits no errors so far for the Diamondbacks and there's ball one. Too high there and maybe a bit outside as well. Two and one. Ball and that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. Andrew Benintendi is on deck. The three and one pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and that's the second out. Bases are empty here with two away and with it brings the left handed swinging Andrew Benintendi. Here's the first pitch. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. And that misses one and one. Hey there's not a lot you could do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. And this ball runs away for ball two two and one. Three and one to the Diamondbacks left fielder. This is a good at bat so far here with two away. If you're going to go down one two three at least make the guy work for it. He's doing that and he's even gotten himself into a good hitters count now. There's ball four. Now batting the first baseman. Digging in will be Christian Walker. He singled first time up. From the belt, kicks and deals. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. That was a pretty good fastball after he walked the hitter previous. There was a little angry on that heater. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. That's in another base hit. He's two for two. The relay. 
And he's going to make it there, barely, as he's into second base with a double. Man, that swing looked like self-defense than a real quality swing, but hey, he muscled it out there, and it was enough to get him safely to second. Those are the kind of hits that will drive you nuts as a pitcher. So now to the plate, Victor Caratini, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The set and the 1-0, very weakly on the ground. Benintendi on third, Walker at second with two gone. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches, anything on the outer half of the plate's going to look a foot outside. High fly ball out to straightaway center. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Diamondbacks strand a pair, but they hold a 2 nothing lead. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Thanks, Matt. In between innings, I was able to catch up with the manager of the Giants to discuss his thoughts on the San Francisco lineup so far. And one thing he mentioned to me was the lack of discipline he's seeing out of their at-bats right now. He said that they're playing right into the pitcher's game plan today by expanding the strike zone way too often. Instead of swinging at pitches in the strike zone that they can do something with, they're often chasing at pitches out of the zone, which is resulting in a lot of their outs. Going forward, they have to start being more selective, guys. Leading off the All top, right, thanks, Heidi. The right fielder, Austin Slater. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. As he'll look at a breaking ball that misses for ball one. I know this guy wouldn't go into the category of superstar, but to grind out the career he has being drafted where he was, my hat's off to him. 2 and 0. Oh. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Marte has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. Now, that now at the plate, the here is Franklin Labor. Franklin. It was a double oh, for him in his first turn at the plate. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Next to bat for the Giants, Chadwick Trump grounded out in his last at bat. First delivery to him. Man, this guy has retired a whole slew right now. I think what he needs to do is just stay focused and keep attacking the game plan like he has up to this point because everything he's done has worked. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the Giant ledger to this point. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. What a well-executed fastball right there, down and away. If you're going to do any damage with that pitch, you have to think up the middle the other way, and you have to be diving and leaning out over that thing. Here comes the one-two. Is looked at for ball number two. Hard hit ball to second. Merrifield brings it in. Throw to first with time to spare, and the side is retired. Giants down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Now it'll be Madison Bumgarner. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The pitcher, Madison. Bumgarner. 
Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Line toward right center. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. He came to play today. Not just yeah, only man. on the bump right there. That's He's thrown the ball well, but on yeah. the offensive side of the ball, he's able to That's contribute right. and help this offense put itself in position to score some more runs. To the plate now, Tim LoCastro, as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. A runner at first with no outs here. Now a swing. Oh, and look out over in the third base dugout as that thing nearly took out half the coaching staff. Well, you know he didn't get cheated right there. He swung so hard he lost the bat. Got to believe he's going to get some jabs and take some heat when he gets back to the dugout. Here it comes on nothing and two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side and this is going to wind up a foul ball. The 0 2 delivery curveball got him swinging for the first out. Pitching 101 is changing no location and upsetting the Second hitters baseman. timing. You do that and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout he never threw the same pitch twice in a row and he won the battle because of it. Standing in now, Whit Merrifield, as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. In the dirt here, and oh, almost had him, but he's able to make it back to first safely. One one home. Yeah. Hey now he's got me confused up here. This is a known sinker baller out on the mound trying to roll a double play and he throws him a four seamer. Bumgarner the runner at first with one gun in the inning. Now a swing as he stays alive as this is fouled back right off the catcher's arm. Hmm. In the dirt. Ball's there and he is out. Good throw. Popped him up. Campaneris is there. And he makes the play to end the inning. Diamondbacks down without much of a fight. They're up two to nothing. Now with the plate is Jake Shiner. He'll start things out in the sixth for a lineup that really hasn't found its groove in this one. Yeah let's see if he can work a walk maybe a knock ground ball with eyes something catch a gap to get this offense going two hits as a team can start demoralizing your confidence. But if he can get on start some traffic in motion we might have something. First pitch on the way. Tried to hold up there. Appeal down to first and no swing. It's ball two. Here comes Bumgarner 2 0. Oh. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Giving chase is Benintendi. He's there and records the first out. So in now for San Francisco. Noah Syndergaard. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Bases are empty, one man out. No 
and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of his spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Boy, he's just been setting him up and knocking him down all afternoon. We've seen a lot of punch outs from him where he didn't get much resistance. Three pitches right there, and see you later. At the plate now, Sean Campaneras. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's working on a one for two game so far. One oh count here it is. Now a swing and a fly ball long run for the right fielder and no one will track it down. He's able to take the ball the other way here high and deep to right center. And that just misses the pool as it's off the wall and he'll make it to second base now with two gone. When you're struggling as a team to put the ball in play every base hit is welcome but a double will really help wake everyone up. That's just their third hit of the game but it's a good one. Stepping in now, Wilmer Defoe, as the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1 and 0. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. On its way is pitch number 75. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Over to first, and that retires the side. Giants leave one. They're down two to nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the go. inning, the and that'll bring up the infielder Cattell the Marte. Cattell Marte. First pitch of the AB now. He'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. Fastball, and that thing's a blur up there, folks. One and one. And he chased one there as this is bounced to short. Turner has it. And an offline throw, but boy, look at him stretch out and keep the foot on the bag. Great concentration there for the first out. And that'll bring in Matt Chapman. 0 for 2 for him Matt to this point. Chapman. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. The 0 and 1 delivery. Well, too much tilt on that breaking ball as it misses low. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. This is line to left. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. There's a lot of moving parts in some guys' swings. It usually takes them a month or so to get it ironed out. At the plate, Seth Beer. As he'll take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Goes after the sinker there as this is fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. 
And he struck him out. So he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. Well, I'm glad we get another look at that beauty of a pitch right there. You can't spot a sinker in a better location because even if you do get the bat on the ball, there's not a whole lot you can do with that textbook sinker. The left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi stands in as he'll take a look at his strike on the outside corner. It's 0-1. Lays off the sinker here, a ball and a strike. Chapman leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. High in the air out to center field. And no trouble for him as he makes the catch to end the inning. One left for the Diamondbacks, but they're on top two to nothing. A speedy Trey Turner digs in now. He'll start the seventh, and Dan, as a former pitcher yourself, you must be enjoying this. Lots of good pitching and defense today. Oh, that's one of the keys. We're seeing a lot of strikes. We're seeing a lot of swings. We're seeing some great plays on defense. This has been a snappy one up to this point. First pitch of the AB on its way. As he'll run up to bunt here, but misses for strike one. And he lays off for ball one. Hey, every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. The 1 1 home is swung on and missed for strike number two. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. Again, a one two. This is in the air to left. Waiting on it is Benintendi. One out. Now that the batter will be Jalen Davis. First pitch coming. Here it is. Swing and a miss, strike one. Hey, sometimes you have to look at it like it's not how or how many. Pitching very well into this one into the late innings, and his first pitch strike percentage, less than 50%. He'd like it to be a lot higher than that. He's making it very difficult on himself, but he's still getting outs. And that's the second out. So that brings up the outfielder Austin Slater. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well Matt this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Here's the first pitch. Tried to hold up there as the appeal goes to Ricky Holiday at first, and Holiday says he offered at it, so that's strike one. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen.
in front of the changeup and he can't keep it fair two strikes on him now. Boy he's been great in this one and he's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Marte will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Giants are down one two three. They trail it here two to nothing. Peter Solomon gets the call from the pen to take the ball for the home seventh. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Christian Walker. He's got hits in both of his at bats so far in this one. The first baseman. Christian Walker. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Pitch taken several inches below the zone in fact. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. Ball even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. And that's what you want from your leadoff hitter. Shows some great patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Into the box, Victor Caratini. Pitch is popped up. Shiner is over, and he's got it for the first out of the inning. Coming no to the pitcher. plate now, Number the pitcher 40. for the Diamondbacks, Madison, Madison Bumgarner. A hit in two tries so far. From the belt, kicks and deals. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. From the belt, kicks and deals. Showing bunt, but he winds up taking ball one. Great decision there to pull back. Step number one in getting a sacrifice bunt down, make sure you bunt a pitch that you can handle. The 1-1. One, one. And now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. And you can't ask for much more out of a pitcher than that. The sacrifice works to perfection. Now back. now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Tim LaCastro, runner in scoring position with Sugan. And now the first pitch. Fastball that gets the inside corner, strike one. One and one to the D-backs leadoff man. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. One ball and two strikes to count. Walker stands at second with two gone. Again, another foul ball. Ready on one and two. Pitch popped up, and this is going to be a foul ball. Slow little roller to third. He's got a hurry. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. One left for Arizona, but they hold a 2 0 lead. Stepping in once again is Franklin Labor. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how this starter's going about his business, Matt. He's looked really sharp. And it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Now a fastball, a bit too low here. It's ball one. Oh. 
hard hit toward the hole. Oh, a diving stop. It's there. He got him. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. To the plate now, Chadwick Trump. As the first pitch here is a bit high, it's ball one. No hits to this point. The 1 0. Now a swing and a deep drive to left, and it ain't coming back. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left as they cut the lead in half. It's two to one now. What a great feeling right there as he circles the pillows. Finally able to get this offense potentially going with one swing of the bat being shut out all game but not anymore. Now the Diamondback skipper is up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And that's going to do it here today for Madison Bumgarner. So a good job all in all this afternoon and as it stands he can only win this one as he departs with a one run lead. Miguel Figueroa gets the call as he'll pitch with one gone in the top of the eighth. Into the box now, Jake Shiner. As the first pitch to him is a changeup that can't find the zone. It's ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Here's a look at the final line for the Arizona starter. Great day's work any way you look at it. Hey, anytime you can get through seven innings, Matty V, that's really a good quality start. Into the eighth inning, wasn't able to get out of the eighth, but he's still in line for the win. Needs a little help from his guys in the bullpen now. Jose Devers will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Now the 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Two out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. The 2 1 is in there for strike number two. He's certainly pushing the throttle and pulling it with those four pitches. Statistics class tells me I'm sitting fast. This one's flared out toward left. Ben Intendi coming up. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. But not before they answer back here with a solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the D-backs two and the Giants one.
Michael Givens is into the ball game now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. Late now is Whit Merrifield. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Whit Merrifield. First pitch on the way. Starts him out with a fastball too low for ball one. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Tried got? to hold up there as the appeal goes to Ricky Holiday at first, and Holiday says he offered at it, so that's strike one. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And there's one away. Next, to the Next up is Cattell Marte. He has Cattell. no prior history against this pitcher. Marte. Now the first pitch. Yeah, that looked like an auto take right there, just trying to measure up this pitcher's stuff. Oh and one delivery tries to drop one down here but he misses strike two our pitchers duel continues here two to one score as we play the eighth now an off speed pitch well inside and it forces him to bounce away from danger and it looks now like a right handers getting hot in the Giants bullpen. Ball two. Three and two now. Not what you want to do on the mound. Go from 0 and 2 to 3 and 2, but credit the man in the box for being patient, even with two strikes. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Hit down the line at first. Scooped up, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Third baseman. So next to bat will be Matt Chapman. Chapman. He's working on a one for three thus far. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 and 1. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. Bases are empty here with two men out. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, 2 and 1. What we're seeing here is a guy getting pitched to very carefully. It doesn't matter that there's two outs and nobody on. He's a threat to score even when he's standing in the batter's box. On a good pitch there. Had him stretching to get out there. And it's two and two now. Ugh, was that ugly. You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. Chases out of the zone for strike three, and that's the third out of the inning. So one, two, three go the Diamondbacks. They still lead it two to one. Giovanni Gallegos comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. So now into the box is Sean Campaneras. Two for three with a double on his line so far. 
Yeah it's always a nightmare taking on another team's closer trying to get back into a game especially in the ninth inning but having your leadoff guy up to start that inning is as good as you could have hoped for. So let's see if he can get something started here. Fouled off. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Boy, he sped him up in this at bat. Now it's time for the changeup. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. Here comes the one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. Now to the plate, here is Wilmer Defoe. He bounced out last time up. First offering. Lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there, and that's the second out. Next to hit is Trey Turner. Lifetime against this pitcher. He brings a 353 batting line. First offering on its way. Lined hard to center field. But this is taken in as a perfect metaphor to end this one as that ball was hit hard but the ball game is over. Pitching and defense game two to one the final score this afternoon. Arizona jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Madison Bumgarner earns the win his second. Noah Syndergaard pitched well allowing only two earned but ends up taking the loss. Giovanni Gallegos wraps it up for the save his ninth of the year. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time.